Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a curved seam. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. As I'm sure you're aware that most sewing projects consist of straight seam lines and here I've got a little section here of a, a coat and that's the curvature of the actual collar, sorry the revere and um, what we're going to do, we're going to start from here and I'm going to show you a technique in order to actually control the movement of your actual sewing project rather than the actual sewing machine. So let's get to it. Right, in order for you to actually make sure that you've got your sewing project in the right position, it's always best to put your left hand on top of your work and this is what's going to do the movement for you because remember, let me just show you here a machine will just do straight stitching yeah? that's, that's what it's designed to do so you have to manipulate the actual sewing project itself in order to get that curvature of um, your machine so let's start I'm going to start here right, I'm going to get my needle down I remember I'm going to maneuver my sewing project, get it to a place that I want it to actually start curving, and then I'm going to use my left hand to control how I'm actually sewing the seam line. So it pins as I'm going out as I go along. Remember this. So I've got my fingers here spread, so this will allow you to actually kind of grip and hold your sewing project. And then you can do with your right hand to help guide it through the actual feet. See, turning. Take away this hand, doing it one-handed. Get me. Oh, don't like sewing over my pins. Right, just use your hand to turn it, see? I'm used to turning it away from me, of course. Take away my pins. Kind of feeling kind of like going on a straight here, but you still need to make sure you've got it under control and using your left hand. And obviously, the quicker you go, I'm getting to be straightening up here now. Getting the other hand in the way, remember, spreading up your fingers out to give you the control that you want. And I'm coming to the end of this now. There we go. Remove my work. See? See how beautiful that is? All the way around. Nice curved. And that's how you actually sew a curved seam. So what I need to do then is to trim and grade and then clip so that actually falls nice and neatly. So you're cutting away the boldness of the seam. Now I do actually have a video that shows you how to do that. So do look on my sewing blog in order to find that. Now there we have it, as you can see we've got one nice motion of stitching for the curved seam and it is quite easy to actually do once you've kind of gone, done enough practicing of it. So um, that is the curved seam, now in order to get rid of the boldness within any seam and in particular a curved seam, I have done a video which I do believe is called how to grey trim and clip your seams. So you will need to do that once you've actually done a curved seam because there's going to be a lot of bulk there and that's because it's on the curve. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.